So we have our last artist coming up, which is exciting. How's the night been so far? How have you liked? I love the act so far, um, and I'm really excited to see the next. So uh, first, I just want to give a shout out to the House of Showfields for having us tonight. Can we put our hands together for them. <laughs> Experiential, experiential um, retail space. So you kind of walk around, you see stuff, you're like, whoa. I mean, these, these eyes really are perfect to describe the House of Showfield. It's like perfect marketing. Um, because I came here when they were open, and like everything's really bright and the lighting's great. And you're like, oh my god, they have clothes, they have like alcohol flavored popcorn, they have these cool like fuck you candles, and um, really awesome. Skincare, uh, other things in the back near the bathroom that I'm sure you saw. Um, cool. So, um, all right, we're gonna get to the next artist. Uh, so our next artist will be Superlative Sane. Um, he's a newer artist so far. This is his second show, and his first show was just a couple days ago. And, yeah, give a hand. So his artistry would be described as a breath of fresh air to the hip-hop, R&B, and the soul community. Um, his lyrics are motivational and inspira inspirational. And the contents usually are about love, life, social inequality, and more. Um, he was born in the UK, so a little fun fact. Woo! Yeah, right? <laughs> cool! And then um, he's originally, well, then you were one when you moved to the, you, when you were born in the UK, and then you moved to Jamaica when you were one. So your family is Jamaican, fully Jamaican, that's really cool. Um, and he also has about 100 songs out on streaming platforms to listen to, which is crazy. It's a lot of songs. Um, and he has a show on April 16th at Sobs in Manhattan for the Days Summit Music Festival, which is a nice venue, Sobs is a really good venue. Um, and he's selling merch tonight as well, next to Maze up here on the table, so be sure to check that out um, after his show. Yeah, amazing. Okay, I'm so excited to hear. This is Superlative Saint. So far, sounds. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah, that great. This is much bigger than my first one. I will <laughs> say that. <laughs> but uh, I think because I did my first one, I was able to uh, knock the edge off a little bit. I'm gonna lower that. I'm a short king, you know. <laughs> so uh, my name is Superlative Sane. Uh, it means the best to bless. I'm a singer, rapper, songwriter from Queens, New York. Uh, I was born in the UK, I said earlier, and um, yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Uh, yeah, so the first song that I have is gonna be called Hate. Um, it was written and created during like the uh, pandemic, and the quarantine time, during the time when like social inequalities and the BLM movement was like at its peak, and I was like noticing things and seeing things that I've never witnessed before as a New Yorker. <laughs> Um, so it, it really just inspired me to just write something about it, so this is it. Why are you afraid? 
if we go around the globe. You know I don't really care about who wanna know about the things that we do. Let's keep it on the low. Know what you trying to do? And girl, you can be the one for me when I'm with you. I feel so free. Only person that be is me. Don't care about the world or what they see. And all I care about is making you feel like you're so uncomfortable. And with me, I know what I gotta do. And I'm gonna do everything that I gotta do. And we ain't even gotta fight like that. Whenever you go, go, I know you're coming right back. Like, we wake up and then we're going right back to nothing like it's the first, but we hoping that we last. Like, girls be tripping when they sipping, but the truth comes out and all's forgiven when I say that you ain't hurt me. I mean that I be the one to hold you down to serve it. Girl, you're worth it. I do whatever I got to because you're perfect. Yeah. I swear you're perfect. And you would look even better, girl, that's my girlfriend. Never call her no more. Yeah, yeah. Can I say that? You could never call her no more. Yeah, yeah. Say, you would never call her no more. Hey, that's how nice. Hey, you would never call her no more. Hey, let me hear this out one more time. Hey, and you would never call her no more, say her no more, say her no more, hey this I think we never go her no more, her no more, say her no more, say her no more, over this side never go her no
say I no more. Why you won't catch me knocking at your door? There is a reason. Thought I can get over you with somebody else. That won't work out for me too good. Wasn't good for my health. So I just kept it pushing, growing, slowly gaining self wealth. Look for myself and what I do. I don't need no one else. Don't come knocking my door. Remember we cried on the floor And now that shit's gone out the door I tried to say what little love we had But now it's gone And now we can't be friends no more Please don't call my phone Reason Why you and me We don't talk no more Why all my friends Don't say hi no more Why you won't catch me Knocking at your door Society puts pressure on artists. <laughs> you feel me? And that goes for parents, that goes for family, that goes for friends. Like, respect the artists, guys. You feel me? If this is what we do, please respect it as like our career. It's not a hobby. We put money and blood and sweat and tears into this stuff. And money. <laughs> and money. Uh, so yeah. This one's called Pressure. It's a bit of a vibe, so, yeah. Can I get a snap or a clap? Which one do you want to do? Hey. You can do both. It's fine. <laughs> What am I gonna mess up, mess up? Like, did I learn my lesson, lesson? Now I'm feeling the pressure. I said, damn, I'm feeling the pressure, pressure. Should I just count my blessings, blessings? Like, did I learn my lesson, lesson? Cause now I'm feeling the pressure. It's feeling like I got too much on my mind Pressure to make it out, but I feel confined I'm getting older, I don't want to waste my time I got a choice to make, I put my pride to the side Should I continue with this music shit? Yes, I've been pursuing it I ain't really making no money, this shit ain't lucrative This shit is ludicrous What am I thinking, why am I trying to get trapped up in this musical prison? When you ain't got no rights, you always gotta fight The voices in your head are the demons that romantic or suits that want to take away all your creative rights. I don't know, but that shit don't seem right. Then I'm feeling the pressure, pressure. When am I gonna mess up, mess up? Like, did I learn my lesson, lesson? Cause now I'm feeling the pressure. I said, then I'm feeling the pressure, pressure. Should I just count my blessings, blessings? Like, did I learn my lesson? Lesson, lesson. Cause now I'm feeling the pressure. Pressure to make it out just because I'm the one. My mom's was ready for it. Yeah, they say I'm the son. Golden child is what I'm hearing, but I feel like I'm done. With all this pressure put on me, man, it feel like a gun. It's pointed right straight at the back of me. These people used to laugh at me while I was just holding my craft into a masterpiece. And it was a tragedy back on that night when my mother fell to her knees and something didn't feel right. And that night, you left this world just to never come back. And now me, just as a kid, I had to pick up the slack. Cause I had a brother on the way. I had to roll my shit back. Had to get over myself, that's a fact. Man, I'm feeling the pressure, pressure. Man, I'm gonna mess up, mess up. Didn't I learn my lesson, lesson? Cause now I'm feeling the pressure. Yeah. 
pressure. I sit down feeling the pressure, pressure. Should I just tell my blessings, blessings? Did I learn my lesson, lesson? Cause now I'm feeling the, now I'm feeling the. I said now I'm feeling the pressure. I said now I'm feeling the pressure. Now I'm feeling the pressure. Drinking you out 